Hi everyone, Jan Furston here from Furston House. Um, long time no here, I should say, not see, but here. Um, I haven't been doing any videoing for at least a month. I've been in uh, South Carolina helping with my two very active little uh, grandsons, ages four and five, uh, while my daughter is deployed and um, had a wonderful time and it was an, a lovely mental break for me as well as I needed the exercise so it all worked out well but um, anyway these are some things that I've just been working on since I've uh, returned and uh, this is part of the 52 tag uh, a year challenge you do one tag each week um, and it was sponsored or it started with Ann, uh, oh, Ann Brooks and uh, she started hers, I think it was last year. Um, of course, I'm a day late and a dollar short, but oh well, I'm doing it this year. And um, so it's okay, it's all good. Um, so let's get started. Um, let me just go ahead and move these out of the way and then I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about each one. The prompt for this one, this one was for week five and the prompt was kisses or cross stitch. And I used sweet pinks and creams, nothing fancy. Um, but it was my first day stitching in about a month, and so I didn't want to get really carried away doing <laughs> anything difficult. So I just kept it simple. Little one large X or cross stitch or kiss, and then the little X is in here. And I just put a little flower there. Simple, sweet. Some of my favorite colors. My favorite colors are pink and, pinks and greens, so I was able to incorporate that. Just a little bit of lace stitched onto a cardstock and then mounted on the back of that. So, anyway, that was for week five. Week six, I had a lot of fun with this one. The prompt was a bevy of buttons. And this was inspired by Adrian Berengerer. I hope I'm not mispronouncing it. She is of um, Why Not Stitching on Instagram. And she had done a similar pattern um, in, in embroidery, but she used French knots instead of buttons. And um, I was looking out, I thought, you know, this would make a great tag. And I love buttons and I have a ton of vintage ones. And um, four of these are from baby clothes, so they're very small. And two of them still have the original thread. So I was quite thrilled with, with how it turned out. And again, um, what was Adrienne Baron Gerer, she had done this similar pattern. Um, you know, you had the stems and everything, but then in place of the buttons, there were uh, French knots and just looked gorgeous. And um, so, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that, Adrian. Um, I hope you don't mind, uh, but I was real pleased with how it came out. That's one of them that had the original thread in it, and this one here. But look how tiny, they're so cute. So, let's see, this one, week seven, the prompt was hexagons. And um, I wanted to thank Ann Brooks. She, again, she's the one who started this whole 52 tags a year. And um, it was Ann Brooks. And um, she gave some excellent ironing tips when she was doing hers. And so it worked out really well. And uh, these were easy and fun, but I have to admit, full disclosure, I'm a journaler, so my first attempt at hexagons, I did it with paper, beautiful paper, and it worked great, but then I realized, okay, Jan. <laughs> so that one went into a journal, and the fabric worked out really well. And you can see what I've done. Once I created the hexagon, I um, stitched over the top, just a little outline stitch. Kept Because it is so small, I kept the um, the stitch the tightest it would go. On my machine, that's a 2.5, whatever that is. And then the little flowers are um, antique. They're from one of my grandmother's old, old corsages. She saved everything, bless her heart. And I'm glad she did because I inherited a lot of it. And um, the corsage is falling apart, but I'm, I'm still able to save some of the little flowers. It's the little velvet leaves and little stamens in there and they're just sweet as they can be. Week eight, the prompts were French knot, bullion knot, and pistol stitch. Now I love French knots. Pistol stitches, okay. A little boring, but okay. Bullion knots were very difficult on such a small piece and I had never done a bullion uh, knot either. Um, but I remembered Ann Brooks had said that they kind of look like caterpillars if you make them slightly bigger than than normal so that's what I did I did one 
and it looked like a caterpillar and that was that so that was if you'll look right down there let me see if you can <laughs> that is officially known as a caterpillar so now you know and then of course there's the um i use lazy daisy french knots here in the purple the little bluish green are the pistol stitches and then i also created little butterflies for the never done that before but they kind of look like butterflies so anyway that was that one i had a lot of fun with this um i'm wanting to incorporate more embroidery in my journals and um so that gave me an idea to to do that small and the last one i just finished up i think yesterday day before yesterday it's probably my favorite so far i think um the prompt now this is for week nine was bits and pieces or bits and a gift from someone and the button was the gift uh, i love old buttons and this one's an old uh, vintage button um a friend gave it to me and she did give me more than one <laughs> but i used one of those uh the thread i literally pulled from the trash bin um let's see twig yeah so this thread here making the little nest pulled it out of the trash um the bird i had as a part of a little ornament that was never used couldn't do anything with it it wasn't made right so i took it apart there's the button that was the gift little snippets of lace that I had left over from an old project and then the um, the stem here is from our forsythia bush which is just about to go into bloom and it usually looks gorgeous and always reminds me of okay spring's almost here but I think that one's my favorite so far um, I had a lot of fun with it and I just I thought the little bird was so sweet and I love the nest so little faux pearls what can I say so anyway that's what I've been doing well, I've been doing a lot more than that, but we've had an interesting few months, so I'm holding my head up. I'm very blessed, and um, oh, and I've also been, I brought my my cabinet dollhouse into my studio. My husband helped me because it's rather large. It's almost as tall as I am, and I, of course now it's empty, but uh, I have brought it into my studio, and I'm going to start working on that. I haven't worked on it for years and years and years. And um, so I'll be doing an upcoming video or two or so, however many. Um, once my husband retires, I want him to put electricity in it. <laughs> Battery operated. But um, anyway, I've been doing that. And then I, I've re, um, not renovated, but rearranged my studio to accommodate said cabinet dollhouse. Um, so I'll do a, a tour of my studio again because it's totally changed. So I, I've been very busy, and um, I said we're very blessed, and I just want to thank all of you for your support, and um, I hope you're having a blessed week, a blessed year. Let's just go for the whole year, blessed year. Um, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.